are back with a Fox News alert. We're waiting to see how Israel responds to Iran's unprecedented attack this weekend. The IDF says this launch of so many missiles, cruise missiles, and UAVs into the territory of the state of Israel will be met with a response. We will do whatever is necessary to protect the state of Israel. Texas Congressman Randy Weber is leading the effort to condemn Iran with a landmark, landmark bipartisan resolution that is being unveiled today. And before that, he joins us right now. Congressman, good morning to you. So Israel has made it clear they are going to respond, and we're hearing that this response could be imminent. What is your reaction to that, and what does that mean for us and our security here at home? Well, Don Garley, thanks for having me. Uh, it's about time that uh, people around the world uh, understood that Iran is the leading exporter of terrorism. Israel has been the brunt of it for a long time, as you well know. Uh, the people, the uh, upper echelon, if you will, in Iran calls Israel the, the little Satan and America the great Satan. So uh, we should be paying attention. We should be condemning everything like that Iran does. And actually, we should be banning everything they export with all kinds of sanctions and making sure that they feel the pain of being alienated from the rest of the world community. We've got to do those things. But the problem is this administration doesn't seem to get that. And that was evidenced by this exchange. John Kirby disregarding the administration's unfreezing of funds for Iranian leaders. Watch. Now that we know that the Iranians do not listen to President Biden's public warnings, is there any regret here about unfreezing billions of dollars for Iranian leaders during the president's administration? What unfreezing are you talking about? He unfroze billions of dollars. For there Iranian was leaders? Yeah. Really? I don't think so. No, none of those funds. Funds set up in an account, by the way, by the previous administration goes directly to the supreme leader of the IRGC, can only be used for humanitarian purposes, and we're watching that account very, very closely. Congressman, is this administration that naive to believe that this money is not being used to fund terror like we saw on Saturday? Todd, are you kidding? It's only for humanitarian purposes. Didn't you hear him? Now, if you believe that, I've got some oceanfront property in Oklahoma I want to sell you. It is unbelievable the amount of ignorance that this, that this administration is demonstrating time and time again, as if we just play fair with Iran, they'll eventually come around and nothing can be further from the truth. So there is now renewed focus on passing a foreign aid bill of some form. And yesterday, House Speaker Mike Johnson said that it could come in four separate parts, aid to Israel, aid to Ukraine, aid to Taiwan, and then another uh, package having to do with TikTok. Um, is this idea of four separate bills going anywhere, Congressman? Well, we had the conference yesterday evening or yesterday afternoon before votes, and we had a lot of discussion about that. Uh, you're going to see them come to the floor, and everybody gets to vote their district. You know, I'm the Gulf Coast of De Texas, very, very conservative district. We love Israel. Um, we are all about making sure that the Chinese Republican, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Chinese Communist Party doesn't get to. Uh, get into our kids' TikTok accounts and those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So everybody will vote their district. Uh, the fourth bill that you kind of alluded to, uh, Carly, is what we call the Repo Act, which lets us sell Russian assets that we've confiscated. So I think you're going to see those come to the floor. We're going to have some debate. Uh, the speaker's committed to that. Uh, you're going to see amendments allowed. You're going to see hopefully the rule passed, and hopefully we'll actually get something done. It's an interesting way of breaking it down to get as much support as possible. Congressman Weber, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, us. sir. Appreciate it. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmey. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.